what can I say? We, uh, there is uh, an issue to be resolved. Um, we don't kick off the series with that subject, the, with, the, with the continuation of that trauma. It's not the way to, to, to lift off. But when we come to this couple, they're trying to heal. They're trying to come together. Um, but he knows the truth. He's pretty sure he knows the truth about what's happened. And she's concealing for his protection. But that's, that does, that's, that's counterintuitive. And so uh, it's quite clear this man, like any man in that situation, has a primal instinct to kill someone or to do some serious damage. Um, that's, that's clear. And I, I think that's understandable. Um, <laughs> we now have the added complication of the perpetrator has been, has been killed in either an accident or, uh, or has been murdered. And so that complicates matters. So there are <laughs> some judiciary and personal issues for this couple to resolve before we can move forward. We start the series with usually the first four episodes, which is a, a lot, lot, lot to be getting on with. But with this issue that we're talking about, um, that hadn't been addressed up to that point. I mean, um, it's all about me and Anna trying to come, come together, trying to heal. Um, but there was a question where I was playing some scenes and it hadn't been decided. But I hadn't, I hadn't re received a script that had resolved this issue. So I needed, to, I needed to know whether or not I killed this man. And I was told. So I knew that going forward even though I hadn't had those scripts yet. So that's quite, that's quite unusual. In terms of input, now, um, I, I, you know, I, I trust my writer. And, um, and um, my job is to deliver his vision and his dialogue and, and do it the best I can. So that's, that's what I do. It's a good question because um, there are so many dramas out there with great characters and which, which are gripping, which are well made, well told, beautifully acted, all that but hasn't kind of just, just hasn't tipped that scale into something great into something phenomenal which is a phenomenon which is what this has become they're, they're very well drawn characters I think it's brilliantly cast for me as a punter uh, I'm watching it and, um, um, and every single character every single actor engages me so I'm in um, in terms of the look of the thing see here we have this kind of expansive cinematic type production values which you don't often get on, on television we're not studio bound you know so we have this sweeping expanse which people are, uh, are engaged in I think people are fast certain elements of our audience are fascinated by the time and the culture and the etiquette and all that kind of thing in America particularly uh, I think there might you know that's, that's that might be an added factor to its appeal um, but it, basically I mean every any actor will tell you it's all about stories and, and yarns he's a great Young spinner is Julian, great storyteller, and that, that's, that's it. Not, not really for us, no, we're still doing the same job, I mean, we still, and we have the same crew, we have um, a continuation of uh, uh, directors pretty much, so it's pretty much the same job for us. Um, there's huge pressure on our location managers, our, our, our art department, our producers, uh, you know, to maintain this level, these standards. Um, but we stay focused doing what we do, so um, that, that, that pressure, uh, I think, is, is felt pretty strongly, I think, in, in other departments. But um, we just, we're, we're still playing the same parts and doing the same job, you know, different storylines, different scripts.